a new camera with innovative form factor on the horizon and on top of that waterproof without a case. Very promising. Finally, something that arrives with top quality accessories named the Oklu 4K Action Cam. And is it good enough to shake the market as DJI did a few months ago with their new device? Let's go and find out. Hey, how are you doing? My name is Michael and I'm always excited when there's some deviation from the straight line that most of the action cam manufacturers have. Visually and in terms of control feels very different and I've discovered that this form factor is actually quite a good idea. Action cameras are anyways portable enough, but the Oclu with this different take on positioning makes it even better and somehow looks more aerodynamic. It can fit in places where regular action cameras may not. It's designed to be very durable, therefore without a case it can sustain diving up to a meter and if you need to dive deeper, take the specially designed waterproof case. Accessories are fabulous and I will show them in a moment. Microphone test is our next assignment. Really good environment for a microphone test because it's, it's very quiet and peaceful area with the exception of the cars passing by but there's nothing around it at the moment it's actually a windy day today but not much of wind over here in the woods uh, very close to vlogging test is this because yeah I guess this is what you can expect in case you're vlogging with image stabilization turned on 1080p at 60 frames per second so what do you think about the microphone quality that's interesting to hear from you uh, keep in mind because of the waterproof rating it's a more special kind of microphone, which requires a little bit of more fine-tuning. Uh, mono, and I think the frequency response is rather good. And it's of course not as good as using an external microphone connected to a recorder. And because of the lack of USB port due to being waterproof, Oclu doesn't support external mic. Never has been the intention anyways. Oclu sent me this package, which is just for the pre-launch users. The camera itself is coming into a smaller but also a very nice and functional box. And the included items are of top quality. I totally like this mount, just wondering how I never knew about the existence of such. Mounting to a bike is so easy now, it's hard to believe. Most of the accessories have this green element, quite a good color combination and is also well visible if it is darker and you need to find the correct mounts. The camera itself is coming into a smaller but also very nice and functional box and the accessories sold separately are of top quality. Generally I'm quite against having proprietary stuff because that makes you vulnerable especially having no external battery dock but considering the goal everything to be nice and simple I can understand where Oclu come from and it's a magnet based connection, a strong magnet Feels like charging a smartwatch. Good news, you can charge while shooting, which is a great advantage if battery endurance is a priority. The button distribution is very different to what we are generally used to. Essentially, you have access to three buttons, actually four of them. The fourth one is hidden and used for switching off and on the screen. The main button, also used as a shutter, is the one below the display and the buttons on the side are for the navigation. Top is back, bottom is to go forward it actually is easy and Oclu did a great job with the user experience. It makes no sense to have a touchscreen here with a small size of probably inch and a half. Things are visible but doesn't feel right to be used for menu navigation and if you use it underwater touchscreens go out of control while they're wet. In terms of tech specs and here's some food for all the geeks from you. The processor is Umbrella, the same one used by Hero 5 Black and SJ7 Star. There's a Sony 12 megapixel sensor, I'd say a very strong combination. Limiting factor here is the processor because it can only stabilize footage at 1080p. The battery is 1000 mAh and it is good for more than an hour of recordings. Right next to it is the card slot. Now let's point our attention to the software side. If there's one feature that changes everything and I need to highlight, it's called Live Cut. It's a genius idea. Now, picture the following. 
you attach the camera on a bike, shoot a three minute downhill video and then you realize, oh no, the mount has failed me and the angle shows the bike rather than the scene. So what do we do? We need to readjust and re-record the scene. If we are careless about the space, we stop the recording, go back to the starting point and record again. But if we want to free up the space that has just been used, then go to the camera, find the file, make sure it is the correct one, select delete, confirm the deletion. I always have this challenge, hours of footage out of which a few minutes are usable. That's where life cut kicks in. Start the recording and now you can see, oh there's probably too much shaking or the angle is not right. Delete all this and start over. It is a freaking single click away. I was very skeptical at the start, but now when using another camera, I miss the features so much. The other awesome option is that you can predefine four quick modes that you can switch to, again, by a single press. You can choose like 1080p, 4K, a photo and then a video lapse, or a video lapse, photo lapse, photo and burst. You know, if you're in the mood for mostly shooting pictures, then choose the latter one. So easy and so functional. When I'm preparing a review, I really like to test various resolutions and often it is very painful to switch all the time. Over here, I choose the modes, configure the settings, so that with these pretty fine options, I can access everything so much quicker. And I'm always saying that user experience is nowadays the key for properly utilizing the hardware. Each one of these modes can be customized according to the settings available. Resolution support from 720p right up to 4K at 30 frames per second. There's a distortion correction feature, well working, however not available in 4K. We mentioned that full HD can be stabilized. And there's the awesome slow motion at 120 frames per second, again in full HD, which looks rather alright for an action cam of this size. And, of course, the sharpest you can get is with 4K recording. One thing to note, and that's based on simple physics, if you have this action cam on a tripod or a monopod, it won't be as shaky as other action cam models when the electronic image stabilization is off, because the lens is on the front which compensates for your hand movements. So even without stabilization, 4K can look good, especially after you parse it through Google Photos stabilization option. Most of the remaining menus are quite easy to follow and settings are not overwhelmingly many, but at the same time enough to satisfy PIC users like me. There also is a smartphone app to enable communication between the camera and of course your phone, which makes it quite easier to adjust photos and upload and share them via social media. You can attach the camera to practically anything. With a quarter inch mounting thread, I can use my favorite tripod, they call it adventure proof meaning by itself it can stand up to dirt impact water and anything else you throw at it some of these mounts are so good the adhesive on the oak bond is using a technology called firm flex the oak bond plus with additional elastic leash there's an underwater shell with up to 50 meter support a selfie stick which is expandable and I like that so much, the Oak Grip, which can float and is designed to be used underwater. And my favorite chest mount, probably the best chest mount ever. I'm pretty sure it's one of the most convenient and high quality chest mounts I've ever tried. Now, we need to have a talk about the image quality. How do you like it? Is it good enough? My personal opinion is that the most limiting factor here is the CPU used, because in 2019 having stabilization in Full HD only is not good enough. But putting that aside, good image quality, excellent bitrate, Full HD is about twice richer on data than what most of the action cameras do. In addition to the Oclu, you can purchase a number of really useful and high quality accessories. And finally, it has an interesting form factor to somehow bring a difference on the action cam market. I hope that Oclu as a brand is here to stay, because we need more companies with such an attention to the detail. Tell me what you think, and let's discuss the camera in the comment section below the video. More information you can find in the description below. And I've had good times testing this device. If you've had good times watching the review, give me a like, say hi in the comments, show this tech to your friends, 
and I'll see you in the next episode.